And you see how this one is really, really, the sun has basically kissed this one. Yeah. So we're going to put this, I'm going to put this in water. Kind of save them a little bit. Is going to be set up. He's also looking at the let's go over this here all the different outlets and everything around the room to see how it's going to be set up. It was beautiful in there. I was about to walk out because um, I need someone that's going to, you know, help me when I'm like, okay, what kind of floors do you want? Uh, what kind of colors do you have? Let's work with an arrangement type of thing. And she couldn't give me that. She couldn't give me that. And so let me just say this. Okay, so it is, I picked up those floors about 3.45 in the afternoon. This is your girl Zenobia and again welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you came back again so you can see what I'm up to now. So guys it is family reunion time and with family reunion it's a lot of food, fun, family and friends. And so today I'm going to put together floral arrangements for a family reunion banquet. As you can see that I have a lot of colors today. Why? It's because I'm bringing Miami to Tampa, okay? That is what my client want. They want that Miami vibe, and I'm gonna give it to them. Okay, guys? So, with further ado, we have to get started because we don't wanna have a long video, do we? I don't think so. So, listen, guys, I would like for you to subscribe to my channel if you have not, okay? I would like for you to like, and if you have subscribed, go ahead and share it, okay? And remember to put a comment because without your comment, I would never know what I'm doing, okay? But be nice. So guys, with further ado, let's get started, okay? And so I'm gonna go into Home Goods because I actually found the other two at Home Goods, but I I kind of found them at. Uh, I saw some, well, I didn't find them. I had some more that I saw at, at home. And so I'm going to go into uh, Home Goods and try to look for something um, so that I can fill these tables. Okay, guys, so I was trying to debate whether or not I wanted to take you in, but I'm going to take you in. Okay, all right. Okay guys, so I am here now at the venue. Um water water no river walk. Um river walk Tampa and I'm gonna show you the venue. So the first thing you wanna do after you do your diagram and you get the blueprint or a diagram of the room, you wanna actually come to the space, the venue to see the spacing for yourself and also take measurements, floor measurements, and see how many outlets that are in the venue so you know where you can set up if you happen to have a DJ 
you know where to set up. So I'm gonna show you the room that we're gonna be working with. And my husband is now um, measuring the room to see how everything is gonna be set up, even though we have a diagram of the room, okay? Just hold on so I can show you, okay? So as you can see, my husband is walking around the room and he's trying to see where everything is gonna be set up. He's also looking at the, let's go over this here, all the different outlets. Also, you wanna make sure you look up on your ceiling to make sure you don't have any damages, any type of water damages. You wanna also see the lighting. Turn the lighting on, make sure all the lights are on. Make sure that everything that you pay for are in the venue. And I also see speakers up here, so you know where your speakers are at. If you happen to have music, you wanna know if you can like plug in somewhere in the room so that you don't have to bring yeah. your speakers yeah, so and everything well. like that. Okay guys, so as you can see, I am back at my office getting ready to put together the centerpieces for the banquet and it is kind of late I think it's around um, I think 9 9:30, 9:45, something like that because after we inspected the room we had to look at other areas in the hotel just to make sure everything is set up perfectly and so I'm getting started now putting in my my glue and then my foam and then I'm gonna put in the florals okay guys And this is the vibe that I'm gonna go with. Um, I think I'm gonna at the end I'm gonna add some more things, but I had to make sure that I have my leaves. You see the leaves right there, and then we have our tropical flowers. I'm gonna try to fill everything else and whatever I have left. I'm gonna try to fill all of my vases. I have eight. And I'm going to um, see what's left over. So whatever's left over, I'm going to make it fuller. But right now, you want to make sure that you get most of the uh, important flowers in your arrangement. Okay? All right, guys. I'm sorry I had to go off camera and do this. I had to pick through several bundles of flowers. I'm looking real tired because I am. And so I have seven more to do. And so I'm just going to just play around with some of these flowers. Um, most likely, uh, they look great just the way they are. And I think everyone will be pleased once I put it on the table. Okay, guys. Well, this is it. This is the final result of me putting this together. So next, we're going to actually go to the venue. And you're going to see me actually put the arrangements on the table. Okay. did finish at least six arrangements so right now I'm going out so I can purchase more silks so I can finish up this arrangement for tonight oh I'm sorry it's not tonight it's actually Sunday but 
I still got to get out and get everything done because we actually have to drop off everything this afternoon at the banquet hall which is in the hotel where they are staying at well majority of the family is staying there um, so I'm out again this morning to uh, go to Hobby Lobby you know guys um, let me just say this okay so as far as Ho Hobby Lobby is concerned I usually um, try to order my florals like my silk florals from um, my manufacturer which is uh, silk florals I go to Hobby Lobby uh, when they have in sales which is they always have, have sales okay what are you doing okay okay so they always have it's not a sale they just take 40 percent off which i find is not really a sale guys it is so sunny right now in florida i am loving it right now early you have to get up early in the morning because the heat here is just unbearable so i get up early um and go to the stores try to be everyone that's coming to the stores by the afternoon or late morning um, let's see here so I'm just going to go on Hobby Lobby that's it to pick up some florals and then I might just go to Walmart because let me tell you something guys um, this is very important okay so I did pick up my fresh flowers yesterday okay I actually went to the florist and I picked up my um, hydrangeas. Um, I picked up some uh, roses and some uh, eucalyptus. And let me tell you guys, I was so disappointed. I was so disappointed because they have this floral shop as like world renowned. Um, number one florist in the in the Tampa Bay area and everything and then they got the people that's sitting up front or at the counter and everything that's serving you or customer service that do not know anything about fresh flowers and I was taken back because I'm asking questions like I'm asking for mums I'm asking for palms I'm asking for hydrangeas and then I'm asking them are they do they have a green tint or they're white because usually white hydrangeas usually have like a green tint to it but when you sit it in water for a few days it, it kind of like mellows out a little bit so she told me that she can actually spray the flowers the color that I want I want it blue um, she showed me the picture of the uh, paint which is like, no, nah, it's not a, well, it's a floral paint. Um, and I was like, yes, this is it. This is the color. Because you know I'm working with Miami colors, which is mostly tropical colors. And so I was pretty much like gang ho. All right. So I picked up the flowers, the fresh flowers, the following day. And so when she showed me the flowers, I was like, okay, but the, the heads of the hydrangeas were like so small. And I said to her, like, why are they so small? And she was like, I don't understand what you mean. I said, okay, why are the hydrangeas so small? Excuse me, guys. So let me just tell you guys. I, I know you probably say, well... <laughs> This woman has a list, and it's driving me crazy. Guys, I have Visualines, and I wear them on certain days. So when I when I actually wear them, uh, I have a little list. So just bear with the list, because I'm trying to tell you a story, okay? So um, with further ado, let me just continue my story. And so the young lady goes, oh, um, well, how big are they supposed to be? And I said, um, like, a little bit. So I showed her about my hand movements, like, how big the head's supposed to be. 
And like and not only that, she gave me two that it looks like it was a half of Ice Ranger. And I'm looking like, come on, honey. Now I know I deal with um, a lot of silks, and silks are perfect. Not all silks are perfect, but silks are perfect. And when you deal with fresh flowers, sometimes you get that, you know, that look where you feel like, okay, I got to work with these, okay? And that's fine, but I just have a problem when somebody is working with me and they don't understand florals. That's 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 not good. And keep in mind that this place is absolutely beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It is absolutely beautiful. It's like walking into Wonderland. Okay. And I love places like that. But if your customer service suck, you are not gonna make no money. It looked like she don't really need to make no money. It just looked like that. Because let me tell you guys, I was about to walk out the shop, even though it was beautiful in there. I was about to walk out because um, I need someone that's going to, you know, help me when I'm like, okay, what kind of floors do you want? Uh, what kind of colors do you have? Let's work with an arrangement type of thing. And she couldn't give me that. She couldn't give me that. And so let me just say this. Okay, so it is, I picked up those floors about 3.45 in the afternoon. By about... 9 p.m. that evening, the hydrangeas started to fall apart. And guys, when it comes to my money, you're going to give me the best. Okay, you're going to give me the best. Because if you don't give me the best, I'm, I'm coming back. So, uh, my husband was like, oh, no, get your money back. I think they were like 90-something dollars for... Um, I got 10 bulbs. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, heads. I got 10 heads. And then I, I, like I said, I got the eucalyptus and I got the, I got some, uh, roses. I got 12 roses, but they were really small baby roses. And I like the baby roses to fit in between, um, hydrangeas because they're so big, but these are not really big. So I got to work with it. So I'm complimenting. I'm sitting up here contemplating on whether I should go in Hobby Lobby and purchase some more hydrangeas. I have a lot of them at home, but I was thinking like maybe I should just stick with um, silks because if I get to this event and those florals started falling apart, like it was like two of them that fell apart. And I was saying to myself, like, oh, no. So I kept them in water. And, of course, you know how you got to cut them. You got to put the food in them. And hydrangeas drink a lot of water. So I can fit at least five of them in, like, one bucket. Okay? And so um, I took the both buckets and I put them in my guest room. And I turned the air down to, like, 68. When I woke up. The next day, which is today, this morning, I went in the room and looked at them, and they were fine. They were fine. No, no, no. The other two just said, forget it. But the other ones were fine. Those two, it was like, okay, let me just fall out. All right? And um, I learned through the years, when I'm working with fresh florals, you have to make sure you follow your instructions not the instructions that they give you but if you're a florist um which i am uh it's, it's better for you to go through like your manufacturer like it's better to go through like like the wholesale like okay for instance let me explain i usually give like i said i usually get my florals from miami Miami will give, will ship my flowers. The only difference is you have to clean them, okay? Like roses, you got to uh, take the thorns off and everything. You got to really clean, like really clean the flowers. Take all of like the bad um, 
petals off of the flowers. You have to really inspect them, but that's fine because those flowers last me almost a week. If your florals, if you buy florals from a florist, and the very next day, not even the very next day because it was that day, they start dying, you should go get your money back. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I got my my fresh flowers in and I had to separate them to actually put them in a bucket so that I, they can actually start drinking water. So these are hydrangeas um, and the hydrangeas definitely needs water okay and so also i have some roses they're closed but about time i start putting my arrangement together they will open a little bit okay and that's what i want i want them to open just a little bit and then i have more hydrangeas back here in the bucket and they're going to start drinking the water as well and i also had them spray some of them blue, whoops, had them spray some of them blue, okay? And so they're now gonna drink water um, with the plant food, which is the florist food. And I always use miracle Grow. Um, I know they give us, they gave, give me packages to feed the flowers, but I'm gonna take this out. I always use the Flower Food Bloom Booster. Um, and this is excellent because, I mean, this is really, really good. I have been using this for years, uh, Miracle Grow, and it works perfect with my florals. And these are fresh, so I'm gonna to put together a, a arrangement so that you guys can see how I do that. And this will be for a head table um, for dinner. Okay, and just letting you see that right now they're drinking the water. And then after that, um, I'm going to cut them again and arrange them in a bowl. Okay, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So guys, as you know, it is 5 a.m. in the morning and I need to put this flower arrangement together. And first and foremost, I have this bowl, which I'm going to place into my decorative bowl, but I'm gonna do the arrangement first. So as you can see, I have my fresh flower foam and it's dark because I had to place it into water last night with fresh flower food and this morning is nice and moist so it's easy for me to cut through and place into my bowl. Okay, so one of the things that you do not want to do when you wet in your foam, you need to make sure that you sit the foam on top of the water, like if you have a bucket or anything like that that you plan on soaking the foam in, you want to sit it on the top and just let it go through the water without being forced. Now, if you force it through the water, then you get air pockets. And with the air pockets, when you put the fresh florals into the foam, it may die, okay? So be very careful on the way you actually wet your foam. It is very important that you do this before you put in your fresh florals. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, next is to secure the foam into the bowl. And as you can see, I am using packing tape. I find that the packing tape is so much better than you buying that floral tape. Previously, when I used the floral tape, when I went back to check my bowl, the floral tape came off the bowl. So I decided to use the packing tape. It's so much better for my arrangements. I don't have to worry about actually um, any of my flowers coming out. And it's very secure. Okay, guys. So I have this towel that I should have put under my board and um, I noticed that my board kept moving around um, my bowl was moving around everything was moving around and this is very important I don't know why I forgot this but you have to put a towel under your board in order to work on your project and another thing I realized is that I don't have my my uh, they call it a lazy Susie and it's like a turning table so you can work a lot better so right here I am still putting packing tape on my bowl to secure my phone and I guess you're gonna ask me you know how do the flowers get through okay so I have a method to my crazy, crazy madness. And that is to get a knife and cut a hole in the center. Now keep in mind, it's not gonna move. You can see I just put in a hydrangea and it is so secure. And I'm gonna continue to put my flowers in. Another thing is, is that you notice that I didn't take all the leaves from around my hydrangeas because I want to use my leaves to fill in the gaps in the middle of my arrangement. Okay guys, so we're going to continue. okay guys so this is my final results and as you can see I have other beautiful flowers in this arrangement I happened to stop by another florist that was having a sale and I ended up getting some baby brass as you can see and I got some other florals in there I think I got some more roses as well but don't it look beautiful guys okay guys and my husband is still setting up the video he has a screen up and then he's setting up the audio over there in the corner and this young lady is actually putting out the butt 
on the tables. Okay, guys. So we're gonna use the lantern um, to enter to put candles. So we kind of like added a little flare here. We're gonna I'm gonna put candles and these lanterns, these lanterns that's on the table. And I didn't use the eucalyptus because I think I like the clean look, and I think the clean look is a little better than using that eucalyptus. So I did put the eucalyptus in, in the floral design, as you can see. And all the tables are set up, and these are the arrangements that we did the other night. And they are on the tables now. And so guys, you didn't see that yesterday when we actually came to the hall. And now you can see it now, okay? All right, and this is the setup of the room. Okay. Woo. Okay guys, well that is it. That's the end of this video and this and guys if you have any comments, please subscribe to my channel again. You may like, share, and hit that bell so I can bring you more videos and that is a notification. Okay guys, thank you and have, have a blessed week.